G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is uh, division by zero. Okay, this is in response to a video I made last week, and I said incorrectly that if you divide by zero, we couldn't do it because we get nothing. And I quite correctly got picked up by a bunch of commentators with this, which I thank you for. You're going to see some of the comments down below. Um, so I'm going to, in this video, address why you can't divide by zero. What's the go with that? So let's launch into this. So I'm going to start out this investigation by just considering 1 divided by 0 and the different answers that people tend to get or give me if I've ever asked this question. Now, there's three major types of answers I hear with this apart from A, I've got no idea, which is this. The first one is a lot of people, this is the vast majority, tend to say there is no zeros in 1, okay? The 1 divided by 0 is 0 because there's no zeros in uh, 1 at all. The next most popular answer I've also heard is probably this one, is that the answer is infinite, okay? If you're going to go 1 divided by 0, that the number's so huge that it's an infinite answer. The next type of answer I've heard is this one, is that the answer is undefined, okay? Um, now, I'm going to tell you straight away that the actual answer is that dividing by 0, the answer is undefined. But I'm going to show you now why this is the case. So let's start with something we do know the answer, I think all of you know the answer to, which is 1 divided by 1, which you know is to be 1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly start messing around this number here and making it approach 0, and we're going to see what happens to the answer. So, if I was to go 1 divided by 0 0.1, you're going to see, okay, what's my answer here? That's 10. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit smaller now. I'm going to go 1 divided by 0.01. This is equal to 100. And you're going to notice what's happening. This number's getting bigger on this answer. Our answer's getting bigger. As this number we're dividing by approaches 0 and gets smaller, this answer here is getting bigger. Let's go one more. What about if I go 1 divided by 0 0.001? Well, again, it's going to be 1,000. And you can probably guess, as this number here approaches 0, this number here gets really big. As this number here gets infinitely small and approaches 0, this number here gets infinitely large. So it seems quite intuitive that you could actually say it's one approach to zero or one divided by zero. Perhaps people could actually say that this is equal to infinity. But I'm going to tell you right now that this leads to a few problems. So say that I was to say the, instead what is two divided by zero, okay? Two divided by zero, I start with two divided by one. I get the answer of 2. And then I go the next one, I go 2 divided by 0 0.1, and I get 20. And I go 2 divided by uh, 0 0.01, and I get 200. And the same sort of thing, eventually I go down, and I could start to get this sort of thing, where 2 divided by 0, given this idea, would also equal infinity. But do you see a problem here? Infinity and infinity, these guys here equaling one another, well, maybe then I could start to say, okay, well, if these both equal infinity, 1 over 0 equals 2 over 0, and I cancel out these zeros here, and I could say 2 equals 1, and I've got a real problem here. Not to also mention the fact that infinity's not really a, a number or answer, so it's, it's kind of messy, it's kind of horrible. But I'll show you the other uh, problem that we have with this, and that's this. When we're doing this particular thing, we're approaching 0 from the positive side. But say we were to do the opposite, and we were to approach 0 from the the negative side. So we could go 1 divided by negative 1 and we get this answer of negative 1. And then I could go the next one and I can make this smaller and approach 0 from the negative side and I could go 1 divided by negative 0 0.1 and I'm going to get this answer of negative 10. And the next one I could go is 1 divided by negative 0 0.01 and this is equal to negative 100. So you're going to Let's probably get this idea, if I go one more, 1 divided by negative 0 0.001, that this is going to be negative 1,000. You go, well, okay. Perhaps what we have is we go, and we're still approaching 0, but now from the negative side, maybe we do this, and we get 1 divided by 0, because we're approaching it from the negative side, and we're getting negative infinity as our answer. And so you see a bit of a problem here straight away. If we approach 0 from this side, and we're dividing by 0, uh, we're getting infinity, and in this one we're getting negative infinity, and now we have two complete difference of standpoints here that are equally as valid if we use this particular idea. And because of this, 
This is why 1 divided by 0 is said to be undefined. It's not infinity because I could equally say, well, it's negative infinity. So 1 divided by 0 is said to be undefined. And I could leave it there, but I just want to show you one more thing. And the thing that I want to show you is this. 0 divided by 0 just leads a little bit of extra complication to this. Now, I can imagine that you'd start with, you know, 1 here, and you could say, OK, I'm going to divide it up as many times as I can, and you can't start cutting off nothing, cutting off nothing, cutting off nothing. This is your 1 here, but you never get anywhere. And so, you know, I could, you could definitely say, uh, you know, you can get a conceptual that this is, you know, because of what we've already gone through, that this is undefined. It's either infinity or negative infinity, but it becomes undefined because it's undefinable. But this sort of idea becomes a bit of a problem because what we have is we have a number that divides by itself and straight away you might be able to say, well, okay, any number divided by itself is 1. So maybe 0 divided by 0 is 1. And you could also look at and say 0 dividing by any number gives us an answer of possibly 0. Or what you could say is that we have an answer once again that is undefined. So which one is it? And I just want to explain this to you because I think it gives us a greater understanding in this uh, division by zero problem. So which one of these is it? And I'll tell you straight away, once again, zero divided by zero is undefined. And I'll show you why this is. And to do this, I'm going to show you using multiplication. Because imagine this, because we do know that division is the inverse operation of multiplication. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, what's zero? times 1. And you're going to say, okay, 0 times 1 is 0. And 0 times 2. And that's also 0. In fact, 0 times any number is equal to 0. So let's do the inverse of this multiplication and see what we get. So I'll change colours. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to instead go 0 divided by 0. And if this is the case, it should be equal to 1. Or 0 divided by 0 could be equal to 2. Or 0 divided by 0 could be equal, well, to any number. So it's a bit of a thing that we actually, we can't define 0 divided by 0 to anything. It could be 1, it could be 2, because of this idea of the inverse operation, this, this could go anywhere. So not only could it be infinity or negative infinity, it could almost be anything. And this is the reason that we actually are, say it's undefined. Anyway, I hope that's cleared up a few things. I am going to guarantee I'm going to have a bunch of unhappy people in a uh, comment section below. I'm sure I've made a little error there somewhere that somebody wants to pick me up. That's all right. We'll uh, keep the discussion going on this. I reckon it's a really, really positive thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. And just finally, the Tech Math channel has merchandising. So click on the link you're going to see below the video, going off to Teespring there. Ah, uh, you know, we've got cups, we've got shirts, we've got hoodies. I can guarantee you wear these, you will be at least the 12th coolest person on the street. So click on the Teespring link below to get to the Tech Math merch store.